here at Avengers Campus and we want to tell you all about everything that's in this land, a complete tour of Avengers Campus. The guide to Avengers Campus at Disneyland Resort. Avengers Campus has three different entryways. Right now I'm walking through the main entry that has that amazing epic music. And as you come along, you're going to get into this part where you see right here. This used to actually be a car factory for Stark. So they have really themed it. Tony Stark has it, his father had it, and now what they have it as is the Worldwide Engineer Brigade, or WEB for short, and they've got a lot more research that they're doing here on the campus. Um, if you look over here, you'll see the research module, so it's kind of modulized. There's another module over here that just kind of been stuck right into the factory. And if you come here, you're going to find out there's something else going on. This used to be the parking space for Jarvis. For Howard Stark. Then you look down here, what have we got going here? Oh no, gamma radiation! There's the Stark Industries Complex. That's the old map. Just such a cool aesthetic going on here. This combination of the old and the new. Oh look, I see Vladimir. He is talking about the spiders there. He has a spider bot. This is new one. Oh my goodness. Well, new new upgrade here. He looks so cool that way. I know, I like it. Fist bump, I love it. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. After that, we have the web cleaner. That's a fun interactive ride where you get to help Peter take care of some of these spider bots that he has unleashed onto the world. Thanks to funding from Tony Stark, Web has brought together the world's most brilliant engineers and given them access to cutting-edge resources so that they can create tech that will empower everyday people like you. Yeah. Tech like me, for example. I'm Sharon, the artificial intelligence that keeps this place organized and running smoothly. Yes, Web has some of the brightest minds in the world, but I keep things around here pretty chill. Come on in while we prep for your test drive on the Slinger. We'll be starting in just a few moments. And now, our project lead, the brilliant, Ow! oh, uh, uh, Peter Parker. Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker, and here at Web, we got access to some pretty awesome tech, like vibranium from Wakanda, or this crazy alien juice stuff. We have pin particles and Stark tech. It all helps us develop really cool stuff, like, um, like these spider bots, for example. Check it out. They have this really cool self-replicating feature. Because? Uh, because it's awesome. Buddy, you could stop doing that now. But anyway, you guys are here today to help us test my calculations predict this will lead to the devastation of the entire Avengers campus. We should be safe until Spider-Man gets here, as long as they don't get into the alien fluid. This is now a bigger problem. Activating threat level protocols. Okay, everybody, open house is canceled. Wise idea. Then I could use some help. 
Yes, you could. Karen, prep the slinger vehicle. Already on it. Everyone head to the slingers and we'll team up to stop the spider boss before they destroy the campus. It's easy. Okay, we have a plan on you. Please, your doors and down the hall to the slinger vehicle. Your open house demo has been upgraded for a high stakes mission to save the vendors' campus. Yeah, promise you. No. No. What the? So, one is right there, it's the other stop, I think. Well, yeah. The pipe to the liquid nitrogen. Oh no. Spider stuff. Here we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now that's an amazing Spider-Man. Okay, I need to test this new web fluid. Watch this. No, no, no. Oof. Oops. Hang on. Ow. That was less amazing than I planned. Okay, Sharon, let's do the first test of the day. Sounds good. I'll log the data with previous tests. Good luck, Spider-Man. I don't need luck, Sharon. Our previous test results do suggest otherwise, Spider-Man. Huh, huh. Always joking, Sharon. I hope this works. Of course it'll work. Whoa! I can see a castle from here! I don't want to start getting better and better. Look out. Oh, this one. Yeah. The chemical elements, Robic Kubik. It's kind of fun. 
they have a new one. I like this. This is new one. Harley Gnir. Okay, so they have a new. Actually, they discontinue a bunch of them. And the, this one is. Yeah, this one's also cool. Ooh, really small ones. I don't think if they can see they don't have logos, so they're not pinched like they do each other. But they have lights and motorized movements. That's cool. So they'll walk all oh, around. Oh, they still pay. Buy one and get some. That's cool. Oh, this is cool. I really. The clothes definitely go to another level. Hey, if I want to like match you, I can get that shirt. Seventeen digital expressions, so you can walk around and have all these cool expressions. See, yeah, there was. And now the girl, but Morales, I don't see the Morales spider bot. Yeah, it wasn't skin. It's a, it's a it was a limit. No, it was a. Spider Miles Morales, yeah. Oh, and it was a limited edition. So they don't have it. And the Christian. I did not realize that was limited. Look at the aesthetic here. So Avengers Campus is stuck kind of in time, kind of out of time. You're going to see Avengers walking around here everywhere, a lot. So it was built around before Tony Stark died, after Sokovia Accords. You're going to see a little bit of that here, but what you really see is that this is all kind of stuck out of time because you see Avengers from any point in the universe. Here we have Doctor Strange meeting a bunch of future heroes. <laughs> and here's the shawarma cart where you can get shawarma. After you pass the shawarma cart, you're going to come into an area that represents Dr. Strange's world. We have the inner sanctum right here. This looks really great at night and if you go in here to the library, you will find it. Some of the books are here even. I wonder if we can touch them. But you gotta be careful as you go to check out these books because there's definitely some kind of space-time warp going on here. But I think I can get through it. It's even possible to get up close and touch these books. Luckily they're uh, held tight so that no one will accidentally get into their strange magic. But this aesthetic is harkening back to kind of that 20s but something's definitely been happening here. Some things have been destroyed. And you can see, like, it hasn't been any normal kind of thing either. Some kind of 
magic or something. You see how these walls are have little pieces of magic particles or whatever embedded into them. The green. spectral energy and create a spectral shield to protect the campus ourselves and the astral ring to create a spectral shield I need the spectral staff but where the staff is I can't say I must call upon the guidance of the soul seeker only she can help us locate the spectral staff now come now old friend I need your help. The Soul Seeker is guiding countless heroes throughout the multiverse, but her motives are as mysterious as the dark dimension itself. Ah, oh, she senses great mystic potential here. Oh, we don't have time for games, old friend. Fine, one game. The Soul Seeker wishes for you to identify the hero who can help us locate the spectral staff. She wishes to see you closer. Too close. She seeks a name. Could it be one of the Eternals? No. A guardian of the galaxy? No. An Avenger? Ah, yes. It's an Avenger. Everyone conjure the image of any Avenger in your mind, and when you've got one, raise your hand. We must act quickly. Time is not on our side. Yes, what's your name? Correct. And which Avenger are you thinking of? Iron Man. Iron Man. Will Tony help us? No, apparently not. An excellent hero, but not the one we seek. Who else has an Avenger in mind? Yes, you in the blue shirt. Which Avenger are you thinking of? Thor. Thor. Of course, the Asgardian. The spectral staff must be in the vaults of Asgard. There is mystic potential here. Fascinating. Thank you, old friend. Once again, you've nobly fulfilled your purpose now. Go back to sleep. Nope. Back to sleep. <laughs> Bedtime. <laughs> By the power of the Vishanti, I summon the spectral staff from the vaults of Asgard. stone with the urn of Undor. That should work. By the shield of Seraphim. The spectral staff! Everyone listen. Dormammu is upon us. Quickly, harness your energies like this so we can create the spectral shield. Come on, I need everyone together. We're nearly out of time. Now repeat this spell, by the power of the Vishanti. We create the spectral shield. Good, put it together with me. 
by the power of the Vishanti. We create the spectral shield by the power of the Vishanti. We create the spectral shield by the power of the Vishanti. We create the spectral shield for the campus, for ourselves. protected this ancient sanctum. Yes, our reality is safe because of your power. Each of you possesses great potential in the mystic arts. Thank you. Carry on in your journey knowing that you help the Avengers more than they'll ever know. There is much work to do in so little time. May the all-seeing eye of Agamotto guide you safely. Farewell for now. Continuing to our right here, we're going to be kind of going to the right through this whole little tour here. And now we come to one of the other exits of the land or entrances, whichever direction you're going. And we see a lot more of the old Stark Industries coming on here. This has been an adventurous campus for a long time. As you see, I am in Cars Land. I'm walking out of Cars Land. And one of my favorite things here is as you walk out of Cars Land, you see some of the old billboards from Stark Industries. Let's take a look at those. The incredible, the amazing, the astonishing, all new Stark for 1955. Why 1955? Of course, that's when Disneyland was founded. Eyes to the skies in 55. The future is Stark. Stark Motors. I love that. Eyes to the skies in 55. Look at that blue sky. As many of you know, sometimes when the Imagineers are trying to figure out some cool new things to do for some of the Disney parks. They call it blue sky thinking. They just throw all these ideas out. They see what's feasible. Not all ideas that we have can ever come to pass, so they just have to get lots and lots of ideas. And that's the key. And we're gonna walk through here and listen to another music transition. We're listening to some like country music Listen to the beat. They've been talking about Route 66. And on video, you might be, it just like, that sound disappears and then you walk into here. Oh, here's a little bit. And then we come in and here it is. And this is the Cars Land entrance to to Adventures Tampas. I kind of feel like some of these buttons are newer than the last time I was here. I'm going to have to check out some of my old footage. But I saw Loki playing around with them one time when I was here. Loki, Loki. Master of mischief. So, we're coming up here on one of the Avengers campuses. Jeeps, they're going around. They gotta get around somewhere. They have it by land, by Jeeps. And now we come into a store, Avengers Vault. After the Jeep, we see the headquarters 
of the Avengers. And we see that there is a little door here that we might be able to enter. The Avengers Vault is where they keep some of their merch. Some of the things that you can buy. Until very recently, this was closed off, so this is a very new part of the park. And we will look at some of this merchandise with Vladimir. Be careful holding it. <laughs> Don't attack anybody with it. It's quite powerful. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm surprised it's actually heavy. Is it hefty? It is, yeah. I'm, I was thinking it's a lie. Yeah, but it's yeah. not yeah. lie. Wow. Oh, that's cool. That'll scare anybody away. Yeah, but it's still like Exposed, yeah. Oh, that is an like interesting it. texture. It is. If you look, it's kind of. I wonder if it's in this special, you know, thing. Oh, it's, that's an even different. Yeah, it just. Little. Like, but there are other ones, small ones. So it's Wearable kind of, remote control spider. You can put them oh, on yeah. your shoulder. Well, let's look. Uh, they do see this one somehow. It's control. I wonder if, yeah, it's kind of funny actually. If it's scroll, it's probably wheels kind of more, more kind of pick up wheels and. Oh, some kind of. Huh. That is. Yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting. The kind of cats. I was thinking, you know what I mean? There you go. Well, it's for the kind of. Oh, that one's one. for kids, huh? Yep. I am Iron Man. Well, look at this glass. So you put it the infinity stones here, yeah? Yes. Wow. Can I flip it other ones? Oh. This way. There you go. See, I can. Oh, can you snap? Snap. See. If you do like this, and you snap. Wow. But it's won't work. And it didn't feel That's good. Oh. We actually have one that's lit up at the end over here. Thank you. Thanks again. Uh huh. Have a wonderful day. That is an interesting bag. Uh, sorry, I got distracted by the bag. It's a cool Captain America shirt. It has a hoodie on it. A minute. This is I'm looking at the hoodie on the t-shirt. This is soft. <laughs> I tried. Oh, what's that? And Avengers. And it, it, it's just uh, the notebook. Twenty. Which is a soft one. This is rubber. It's a soft one. This one, I think, is not soft. And of course the. Okay, that is. Look, look. All right, let me look at your shoes. Uh, oh, wait. Hmm. Do they have that special yeah, armor? Yes. Yeah. It's Marvel's. Marvel's. They tried to push this. I think they did a lot of. Like Let's go this way. Armor. Shooting. Marvel Studios Legacy oh, Collection. Wow, look how big it is. $120. Well, it fits that mm -hmm. hole. So. And we have Spider Man. Oh, there's no question. Yeah, it's got that a is a. That's a cool one. Okay. But it's kind of funny. Oh, there you better. Ah! It's gonna eat my face. Here we have the nano gauntlet. You've got that in your hand right now. I remember the gauntlet. You needed the stones right there. But then it's a little more. 
and they have that one with all the stones in it right now. Or you want that guy? Like, <laughs> or do you want to change? Well, it is left and right. Oh, I never noticed that. It's a liquid one, it's from the Thor. Okay. We have a Thor, it's from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh huh. Of course, I know. Yeah. They already, I'm like, there you go. Stuff. Loki Scepter, remember he was. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. And I own Agamotto. I have Agamotto. From Dr. Strange. So they're all kind of cool, actually. Down there. This is I owe my god, hungry doors. It's not working. Another way, if you want all the infinity stones without any of the other things that you can get, this, I think, has all I the think infinity. It's a five. Five but of you them. need six. I think it's only getting. What's the one that's missing? Um, I don't know which one. These are cool. You know what? I, as I've been out there walking around a little bit, I've seen some kids play with these. These are just awesome. They're, they're and that's what they need, also, is like, like action figures, action so figures that the kids can play it. with. Yeah. Right. No. It does not do anything. No, it's classic. When I was a kid, I wish I had those kind of fun. America. Wait, and there's the Marvels. They're all out here. So there are often lots of shows here, and there's one just about ready to start where you get to see a lot of the Avengers. Welcome to Avengers Campus, Hawkeye. We're glad you finally arrived. Hey, Friday. Thanks for the welcome, Mike. Intrusion alarm. Level two and three. Unknown entities. Hey, Hawk. Guy. Sup, bro? Hey, bro. Bro. Looks like the Mensa meeting is starting. Yeah, you're going to be Mensa meeting these spaces, man. <laughs> okay. This looks bad. Stop! Hey, Clint. Need a little help? That's a bit much, don't you think? Just trying to spread some Christmas cheer. Thought you'd never show up. What exactly are you doing? Just getting my jingle bell rung over here. Your Christmas gift to me is no more bad puns. Yeah, sorry. Hold on to me. Well, this looks really bad. Might make the naughty list again this year. Oh, uh, we've got to clean this up. The Avengers are going to be super mad. The Avengers have arrived. There it is. Like you expect. Like I said, fun shows all the time. So coming up, we have Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. The story here is that the Collector has collected the Guardians and we have to go help Rocky Raccoon get them back. Collector. Ultron. The most comprehensive assemblage of artifacts and life forms in the galaxy. Hey, do you have a Yes, because you got us into the trap. Hey, I thought 
about the tour sounding fun. And presto, the doors open for you. I now present to you Tanya Tavon's private office. My friends, you're one step closer to your exciting encounter with the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Standing in my private office. I know. Right, Carefully scrutinize each and every piece that helps to me from different parts of the galaxy. That I to have less you this guy. Hearing your incessant blathering on a constant loop was big motivation for me to escape. Ouch! Ouch! What was that was not part of the plan! <laughs> what? <laughs> of course I escaped! For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket, one of the guardians of the galaxy, the smart one. Listen up, he's gonna put you on a gantry lift for your tour. I'm gonna sneak on top of your lift and take us all the way to the big old generator control room. I'm gonna blast that thing and destroy all the control systems, which will open up every cage in this freak show and free my friends. Our buddy Mantis is in the getaway ship waiting for my signal, and then we'll be on our merry way. But this plan won't work unless you help. I don't have clearance. My hands don't scan. Yours do. If you raise your hands, I get the clearance, and the chaos begins. <laughs> it's a foolproof plan. Once you have retrieved the guardians and you have come back safely, then there will be the collector's warehouse, which is the gift shop after the ride that you can go to. And Vladimir and I are going to just take a look in there at some of the things you can buy. There is an Ant Man and Oz. Mm -hmm. We kind of saw them before, it's kind yeah. of very funny. I have a good time with them and right now we're going to this store this is guardians of the galaxy store from the ride almost any time when you come from the ride you can go to this store so we can go very fast loop on what merchandise they have right as you walk through there they are staring at you so cute yep, groose so, so, so cute a bunch of groose staring at us right there right here okay Sorry. and there we have some tails Raccoon tails. I don't know how many raccoons suffer for those. The sling bags, or this is the Guardians of Galaxy bags. They do have it actually quite big zippers as well. Let's see how much this one. Forty dollars. Oh look, a rocket raccoon with Amy. Nice. It's good size actually, Rock. Yeah. Too bad I don't Thank necessarily you. like plushes, but I know it's good. We don't do plushies. Our stickers, everything. Let's go right there. And of course, we have a more t shirt, Captain America. Oh, this we've got a nice backpack. I like it. Okay, there we have t shirt, a danger shirt. Well, this one is about probably seventy dollars, what they usually are. Oh, yep, I'm right. Sixty nine ninety nine, seventy dollars. Oh, right cool there, you see on the bottom. Oh, there. So there's a sling bag. I was looking. Hmm. So I don't know how many. Let's see. They have it on the top one. Kind of long, you can put it. This would be very good for that little camera right there. Nice and padded on the back. Yeah. Two water bottles almost. Two water I bottles. Don't know what, here you can hook up some of those toys hanging. And here too? Yeah. It can so really it's very nice. 
I still have to think about this. Oh, okay. It's very well, useful. We know they're here. We know it's here. It's very useful. And it is useful. Look at that. Oh, it's good space, actually. Good space. Right here. Park it and park like it this here one. And very nice. I think it does have more more room than one of these little guys. Oh, yes. Most of it pocket and organization, that's what yep. you want. How much this ones? These come in at $78. How much this ones? $80. Okay, let's go see what else we have here. Well, this, I still like this shark. And we have Is cats. Oh, cats. Well, and we have that black hat. Yep, I have that hat. It's in the hotel. And of course, we have a marble. So I have some of this marbles already. You have the... Oh, that's a, a nice one. one. Yeah. That's a nice one. And the pins, of course. We have it all pins <laughs> and comic books. There you go. Look at this. Actually, it's more than that, Volka. Create your own comic book. Yeah, they come with I pins. I love that. In the back. It's a fun coloring. And you can, that's awesome. And look, they have like the different sheets where you just, then you just draw it in. Nice. This is a cool, I bet about a 10 year old for a gift. Hey, look, Iron Man pants. That one, I like it. Oh, happy Christmas. Yeah, again, I wish it was knitting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Model. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And there's the pillows. Oh, I wanted to show you these. I saw these. Oh, they're kind oh, of nice, soft, nice pillows. They're soft and somehow and they're like heavier than you might expect it you to be. You can take two of them and fight between each other. Yes, you can. Oh, so fluffy. You know what is inside? It's like my sideshow bob hair. <laughs> oh, your sideshow bob hair, yeah. Yeah. It's almost like there's memory foam but not quite memory foam no it's, it's, a, it's a just same it's a no, it's a it's, guts of dead teddy bears no it's springier than the te dead teddy bears it's springier no it's the same trust okay. me do, do we want to take this home and let our dogs take it apart no <laughs> find out but <laughs> okay yeah okay well a lot of great things and in this a lot store. Of small teeny tiny gadgets after Mission Breakout, you might find yourself hungry. So drop by to Terran Treats where you can get what I think is one of the most iconic treats here, the Cosmic Cream Orb. Continuing to the right, we have the third entrance that goes down to the Hollywood land of Disney California Adventure. And you're not going to go hungry here because here we have another little treat cart. Hmm, looks like Tavana's running this one too. You can get assorted candies, corn on the cob, ice cream, hot dogs, drinks. But if you really want a real meal here, you're going to have to go to Pim Test Kitchen. Right off of Pim's Test Kitchen, they have kind of a Pim's Testing Lab. Where if you want to get any libations, you can. There are a few snacks you can get here too. But most of this is for people who are 21 years and older. I'm never that old, so I won't go there. And continuing on, now we have the real entrance of Pim's Test Kitchen. And go in here and see what kinds of food you can get here. This is one of our favorite places to eat here. Pretzel. <laughs> Metamorphosis. I don't know. We can try for it. <laughs> I like this. Crusadians. I can record this again. Oh yeah, that was very good. So, what do you want? Peter, and sorry for the multiple takes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is funny. 
we have almost never stayed in line. Maybe the very first time we came, we stayed in line because there's mobile order pickup. That is the only way, I think, to get food here in any of the places you want to eat. But if you notice that the scientists here are what's creating this food because it is science magic stuff. Look at what they do to those pretzels. This is, of course, the test kitchen of Dr. Pim with his Pim particles making anything big or small. That one's huge. And yes, in fact, you can get one of those huge pretzels. After you've picked up your food, you can come in here. You can freestyle your own soda, put whatever you want in it. But what I really like is that. Those soda cans are what's powering the freestyle machine. Oh, amazing. Awesome. And of course, the mustard and the ketchup. Right there. Here I have got an impossible meatball with some pasta, parmesan cheese, and some sauce, spaghetti sauce. So what is so unusual about this? So if you don't know, Impossible is a brand of um, plant-based meats that they have carefully formulated so that it has the same feel, the same texture, and even the same char, the same cook as meat. But in fact, it is entirely plant-based. Here's a tiny piece. See, it looks like meat. It's almost like meat. You're a normal fork, maybe? It feels a lot like meat. It does not taste quite like meat, which is why you usually find this in restaurants served with sauce, served on a burger, um, with a lot of condiments, because the meat is the protein part of it, but not quite the star of this dish. But look at that. There are even little fats in it. It's really cool how they've uh, done this. And I really think it has a great place here in the Pim Test Kitchen because it is a solution to a problem we have. How people love meat. People want to do the right thing and not have, especially beef. This is, this is a kind of a take on beef. And they want to be vegetarian. But it's hard because meat is so good. I'm going to get a little bit more. I mean, look at that. You can hardly tell. Otherwise, the rest of this dish is really just your, very simple. You've got, like, maybe kind of like it was giant and small pasta noodles that they just decided to mix all together. This will definitely satisfy one of your pickier eaters, though. Um, some of the kids who like don't like this or that, they'll probably like this. So impossible. This is the meatball. It actually feels real like your ground meat. I mean, it did on such a good job. Marinara sauce, what is kind of here. It's got a sweetness, a bit tangy. It's a basic, it's nothing like, you know, something wow, but it's not that at all. I mean, it's good. I can eat this all the time. But it, no it, surprises. Yeah, no, no surprise, but it, this is good actually because no surprise. It's been, you get it precisely what you're expecting, you know, from the food. Well, and it's especially good because you're eating vegetarian right there. Yeah. A lot of problems, but the two sharing. No, the meat's not that many carbs. Yeah, but the I mean pasta noodles. Is noodles, right? Yeah, pasta. But you also have the sourness of tomato. Mm. 
goes together. Or I'm just hungry. This is monstrous food. Monstrous. A, yeah. It is actually, if you look, we have a cabbage, well, lettuce. We have a shrimps, some grits, olives inside. Um, Those aren't grits, it's quinoa. Oh, and quinoa. Fruit. Okay. I don't know what is this one on the bottom. We'll go to discover. But it's like one of the best. I had that before, and I'm like, I want to go try this again. So let's go try sauce first. And the name of this dish is compound crustacean. Yeah. There's a tiny shrimp and Ooh, the big shrimp. I like this one. It's a nice sauce. Have a tangy, very have a teeny tiny heat. I think it's maybe cayenne or or paprika, but no, it's not paprika. It's cayenneish kind of heat, but very good actually. Work together, and if you look together. Right here, it's all mixed. It's like cucumbers. Look on this, cucumbers. Mm. Teeny tiny shrimps. We have also black olives. By the way, oh, black olives, it's a green olive. It's just fermented. Little tomato, tomato. Wow, I love this mix. And right here on the bottom, I think we have an heirloom tomato, if I'm right. Right here, see? Oh, I think you're right. That it's is Aaron's Aaron's Aaron. Aaron. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. Very good. No, no, of course. This is... Look at these scary creatures. Hi. Insects. So, an, oops, fall apart. And this one is great because you have it small shrimps and you have it bigger shrimps. And I know some people don't like it, but... <laughs> I like it from the head. It's Yum. gross out people. That's what I like about this. <laughs> and of course, we have a different type of lettuce right here. Some of these green ones, like this. Hmm? Bigger lettuce. I love this salad. Very refreshing, very good salad. Okay, what about you? Try it now. Oh yeah, I'll try that. Man, that looks like a lobster tail almost. It's so big. A mini lobster tail. Well, well, it's what it is. Shrimps is mini lobsters. There's a little bit of chili in it. What would you say are the flavors in this orange sauce? Well, that's what it says. I think it's little cayenne pepper, tango. Uh, it's a tomato base. Tomato base? Yes. Cayenne pepper. Nice and tart. And the tomatoes go well too. Mm. Okay. They do this on purpose, I'm sure, and I will let you have the other part of the head because I'm not going to do that. Hold on. <laughs> he just ate it off camera. <laughs> Don't record this part. Or when you lick a knife on the camera. I know, but you're gonna edit that out. So I'm gonna try the big the big chunk. I don't wanna take all the shrimp away. This is a different lens. Mm -hmm. Slightly rubbery. It's been a little bit overcooked, I think. Well, what they do, they cook them and they cool chill them down because otherwise it will be, become very rubbery. Oh, this yeah. Way you really it, have to do it that way. It's almost impossible to avoid this in this kind of a casual dining restaurant, like walk-up order restaurant. Hmm. Just a light vinaigrette. What's that? Very good. The really white chunks you see here are faded cheese. Mm, that's a good salad though. And um, you've got all your fruits and vegetables and you're eating crustaceans. And so again, a healthy and relatively guilt-free meal for you to eat.
after Penn's Pets Kitchen, you can go to this Stark Industries supply pod and get some more of your Avengers gear. Did you send Chris this picture? I did not send Chris this picture. Maybe we can... The fabric on this is really... It feels kind of waterproof, or at least water resistant, kind of, right? Yeah. Excellent. But warm. And now we're coming back down the way we originally came in. Overall, you could really spend hours in Avengers Campus if you wanted to. There's plenty to do here. I would have to say it takes about half a day to get through to kind of experience everything, including the rides and including the shows that you get to see. There's the character meet and greets, and there's some shows that we haven't even really seen that don't start until later on in the day. So there's just a variety of things that are going on here. I just found this little detail here. I actually think this is possibly a real thing, but they have made the switch red to call attention to itself. Look at this color scheme on that little control switch there. But the theming, the lights, this looks fantastic at night. Let's go take a look at what it's like getting our little time ship in. This is the Cosmic Cream Orb. I love this thing. Mm. Look at that, isn't that cool? It's even sparkly. Like something has exploded, it's cosmic. And it says it's a cream orb, so where does the cream come from? I cannot break this apart, so I will have to take a bite. And there's like a raspberry mousse inside. Maybe blueberry. Now that I think of it. But it's purple. And it's, it's just so creamy and yummy. The first time I bit into one of these, I really didn't expect it. But the whole effect with the purple on the inside and this kind of purpley rock thing on the outside, it's like a geode, but for your mouth. We have old Captain America. It's just such an amazing place to be at night. I love Avengers Campus. All times of the day is always epic, 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 awesome. Avengers Campus.